your favorite recipe Simply Food You should know by now that you're in for a treat Simply Food There's no other channel where you'd rather be Simply Food Seafood, pasta, cakes, and pies Sing and laugh and even cry Like, like and share and hit subscribe Simply Food by T.Y. What's up, you guys? It's your boy, Simply Food by T.Y. And welcome back to my channel. And today, baby... I'm about to teach y'all how to make some of the most succulent melt in your mouth barbecue glazed turkey meatballs. So let's get right to it. So I have half of a sweet Vidalia onion that I'm going to chop down into a mince. Now I'm only going to be using about one pound of ground turkey. So if you're going to use more than that, feel free to chop up more onions. But for me, this was more than enough. You don't want it to be too, too many onions. And you definitely want to make sure that you are chopping it down to a mince because you don't want it to be, you know, real big chunks of onions. That's not cute. Now, as you can see, like I said, I'm going to be using ground turkey, but feel free. You can use ground beef. You can mix it with pork. You can do any variations that you would like. So I've added in our onion. I'm also going to add in about two tablespoons, two and a half tablespoons of some dry parsley. I'm also going to add in some onion powder. I would say this is probably roughly about one and a half to two tablespoons of the onion powder. We're gonna do the same measurements for the garlic powder um, as well. Then after that, we're gonna go ahead and start adding in the Grill Mates hamburger seasoning. Now for this, because we're not adding in any actual salt, you can be a little bit more heavy handed on this um, because again, we're not adding in any other salt. So the salt's really gonna come from that and from some of the Parmesan cheese, so you know. I would say do anywhere between one tablespoon to two tablespoons. We're gonna put in two hefty dollops of sour cream, and then we're gonna add in a nice handful of some Parmesan cheese. I would say that's roughly about a half a cup. And then the garlic and herbs cheese spread. I used half of that container. That is going to add so much texture and flavor to these meatballs. It's gonna be out of this world. Trust me, do not skip that step, okay? Now we're gonna add in roughly about a half a cup of some Italian breadcrumbs. In my meatballs, I do not add any eggs. I feel like it weighs them down too much. And I like for my meatballs to kind of just melt in your mouth. I feel like when you add egg to it as a binder, or at least for these type of meatballs, I just feel like it makes them way too stiff. If I was making meatballs for like a spaghetti or, you know, something like that, yeah, maybe I would add some eggs to it, but not for this. For these type of meatballs, you want them to completely melt in your mouth. You don't want them to be too heavy. You want to be able to enjoy them. And also, once again, because we're using turkey, they're going to be really, really soft. So you don't really want to add anything to it that's going to cause it to kind of tighten up. You know what I mean? So... This is my little trick. Before you ever make a meatball and just go ahead and start cooking them, make yourself a small patty, okay? Fry it up and taste it. That way you know exactly how your meatballs are gonna come out. I always tell people, never just mix up your meatballs and then just go ahead and cook them all. You should always make a little tester patty first. That way you can see if you want to adjust any seasonings. If you would like to add in crushed red pepper flakes, if you would like to add in some more of that hamburger seasoning, now would be the time to do it, okay? So just keep that in mind. Definitely when you make meatballs of any kind, always make yourself a little tester one. Now this particular recipe will yield you anywhere between I would say 18 to 25 meatballs it really just depends on how big you choose to make them now i'm doing them by hand but as you can see i'm doing a little more than a rounded tablespoon if you have one of those cookie scoops you could absolutely do that as well now once i get all of these meatballs on this tray i'm going to wrap this up in aluminum foil and i'm actually going to put it in the fridge now the reason why i do that is because number one the longer they rest the longer they have time to marinate the better tasting they're gonna be. But also because as you can see, turkey is just so slimy and you know, it can get very loose. You wanna make sure that your meatballs are gonna hold shape. So I like to put them in the fridge. I leave them overnight. 
but you absolutely do not have to do that, okay? You can do it for just three or four hours. Once you do that, you wanna bring them back to room temperature and pop them in the oven, okay? At between 350 and 375, depending on your oven, for roughly about 25 to 30 minutes. They should be extremely soft, and I mean, they really should just melt in your mouth. You do not want to overcook these. If you make them dried out, they're just gonna be gross, okay? So now let's work on our sauce. Like I said, this recipe is extremely quick. I've just added in about one and a half cups of barbecue sauce. I would say about a half a cup of Welch's natural Concord grape jelly. And now I'm going to add in roughly about two tablespoons of some really good honey. And that's it. Once again, once you start mixing up your sauce, if you know that you want yours a little bit more on the sweeter side, feel free to add in a little bit more jelly. I would say add more jelly than adding in more honey, only because I feel like the jelly adds a little bit more of a flavor component than just adding in a sweetener such as honey, you know what I mean? Uh, but that's just my own personal opinion. For me, this is the right amount of balance when it comes to... Um, you know, how much sugar I really want them to be. Some people like their barbecue meatballs extremely sweet, and I'm not too keen on that. One thing you want to be mindful of, because the three ingredients that you just added in all have sugar in them, make sure your temperature is nice and low while you're mixing this up. You want to bring it up to a low simmer, but if you have it up too high, and especially if you're not working with a good pan, you'll burn your sauce, and you do not want that, okay? So now that our sauce is starting to come up to a simmer, now we can go on ahead and start adding in our meatballs. And honestly, you guys, that's it. All you need to do now is toss these meatballs around and enjoy them. I mean, it's just that simple. If you want, you can make multiple and multiple pans of the meatballs and just throw them all in a crock pot and then just pour your sauce over it and let that sit for a couple of hours. You can do that as well. You know, you don't have to just make this small quantity. I'm doing this because I like to, I'm going to probably freeze them in probably groups of three because y'all know I can't eat that much anymore nowadays. But for me, this will be a really nice thing to have on, you know, on deck. But that's it, you know, just talk them around in that sauce make sure that they're nicely incorporated if you want like i said you could add in some crushed red pepper flakes you know any of that type of stuff add in some more of that hamburger seasoning on top some more of that parsley test it for salt if you would like to add a little bit more salt you know make it taste the way you want it to taste so that you guys enjoy it look if you're new to my channel welcome to simply food by ty i hope you've enjoyed what you've seen thus far and if you're one of my returning subscribers well y'all babies know i love y'all so 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 very much and as always y'all baby stay cute and take care bye guys see y'all later enjoy slaying in the kitchen simply food by ty we hope that you enjoyed it simply food by ty if you haven't took the time, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Simply Food.